Hi beautiful people, welcome back to A Beautiful Life. So today's video is going to be a show and tell video and I'm going to be showing you all of the Beatles magnets that I have which I realize is kind of a, a strange idea but I realize lately I have a lot of Beatles magnets so I thought I would do a, a video showing them. So and I am um, looking for ideas as well on how I can display all of these because I don't want to put all of them on a like a refrigerator so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments but let's get started. So first is this box of 42 wooden magnetic shapes and this has just been sitting on my shelf for a few years as like a you know just a decoration because I never actually have opened these yet. Um, so I thought today I would go ahead and take them all out and actually see what all the designs are. And it says on the back, do you have Beatlemania? Who doesn't? Decorate your refrigerator or any metal service with this rockin' collection of wooden magnets featuring photographs, album covers, vintage art, ticket stubs, and more from the Fab Four. 42 unique designs. Alright, so let's see here. I guess I'll just dump them out and then show them like two at a time. Actually, I think I'll lay all of these out and then film them that way. Alright, so hopefully these are not too hard to see with the bedspread in the background. So let's take a look around. There are some ticket stubs, some single art, them on the Ed Sullivan Show. Oh, I like this one. A little 45. And then a vinyl and then help. Some more single art. Magical Mystery Tour. Oh, I love this one. I love this one too. It's the same design as my blanket back there. <laughs> And then there are beetle boots, some Hard Day's Night ones, and some portraits. And then I love these, the rubber sole ones, especially the logo. And some more ticket stubs and some Let It Be era pictures and an apple. And this one with the umbrella. All right, thankfully I was able to fit all of those back in the box. So let's move on to the next ones. So next are these Beatles cartoon magnets. So it has their little characters on it. It's Ringo and George and Paul. And here's John. I have these displayed on um, a lunchbox that I have sitting up on my top shelf. I'm um, just kind of one in each corner for now. Then next is this with the Beatles magnet and I've had this one for a long time. I actually kept this in my locker in high school and everyone knew me as a Beatles fan in high school. And then there is a Sgt. Pepper album cover magnet. And then this Fest for Beatles fans 2019 magnet which was sent to me by a subscriber of mine and uh, I've never actually been to the Fest for Beatles fans yet they just announced today actually that the um, New York Metro one is going to be postponed until April um, but hopefully I'll be able to attend one at some point and then we have this classic Beatles Apple logo magnet then next is this set of magnets from this uh, book that I got at Five Below. Uh, it's called The Beatles, The Definitive Guide for All Beatles Fans. And it has a clip inside that talks about the history of the Beatles. And uh, included with that was these magnets. So here is a Beatles logo magnet. And then we have, let me show these two at a time. We have with the Beatles and let it be magnets of each beetle. So there's John. Ringo, and then Paul, and George. And then lastly is this bag of magnets that was sent to me um, in that huge box of Beatles merchandise that a very, very generous uh, viewer of mine sent to me. I have a video um, on that. I think it's called Huge Beatles Merchandise Show and Tell. Um, so included in that box were all these magnets, so I will show you all of these. So we have a couple of little Sgt. Pepper magnets. And a Hello Goodbye, I Am The Walrus uh, single magnet. And then this one of them performing on the Ed Sullivan Show. 
And then we have this one from the Sgt. Pepper release party. And then this one, it's an All You Need Is Love and Baby or Rich Man single magnet. And then this one, which is made to look like a ticket from the premiere of A Hard Day's Night. And I actually have a real one of those up on the shelf. Let me, let me go get that. All right, yes, yeah, so here is the ticket and the magnet. And then we have this one, which says, which I think is made to look like a magazine cover. It says the Beatles up to date. It says latest pics and stories. First photos of the Beatle movie. And then we have this one of Paul from the Butcher album cover photo shoot and George is peeking in the background there. And then we have this one, which I believe is a Japanese single. Um, it says Lady Madonna and the Inner Light down here. And this is another uh, single art. It says Yesterday and I Should Have Known Better. And then two more uh, single art magnets. This is a Japanese one. It says Yellow Submarine and Eleanor Wrigley. And then this one, which is Get Back and Don't Let Me Down. All right, so those are all of my Beatles magnets. And if you have any ideas of like things that they sell that I could put all the magnets on and then put on my wall, let me know. Um, because that's obviously way too many magnets to put on the refrigerator. And I think it would be cool to like display them in my room somehow. So that is going to do it for today's show and tell video. And I want to say thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. I will leave my social media linked in the description so you can check those out as always. And as always, have a beautiful day everybody. Bye-bye.